Hello again, friends, and welcome to another demonstration of Bomb Squad Academy. Previously, we completed the level on sliding switches, and it's now time to navigate the perils of pulse generation. Pulse generators are the basis of all detonators. Try not to blow up. Alright, so we have... eight levels total, including the tutorial, so let's get started. This component here is a pulse generator. While powered, it lets current go through for a short instant every second. Sometimes it is also called an oscillator or a clock. Go ahead, give it some current. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's play with oscillators a little. Click here when you're ready. Okay, let's start with a simple bomb. Diffuse it when you're ready. Alright, let's see what we've got here. As a minimum, we have a detonate path that we need to avoid, so we can do that easily by turning this rotary switch here. Now, if I flip this switch, I've already half-satisfied this AND gate. And with this pulse generator here, that means every time the pulse generator beeps, the B disarm is active. Now this is mirrored up top. We have a switch controlling this pathway. We have this pulse generator with a push button. So if I push the button at the right moment, the A and B disarms should light up at the same time and disarm the bomb. So let's do that now. Excellent. Alright. Let's go on to the next level. Here's a variant on the previous bomb. Get ready. Okay. Now here's a curious thing. We have this detonate path. If I push the button, then immediately this oscillator will activate, send current through here, and detonate the bomb. Kaboom. But if I turn the rotary switch right now, then it will allow current through here and again kaboom but we can stop this because this is an exclusive OR gate it will stop transmitting current if both inputs receive current and I can make that happen with this switch here now we have nothing coming out here so I can turn this rotary switch down here so that when I push this button the oscillator does no longer sends a signal toward the detonator so let's push this button so now the A and B disarms are firing alternately, but we need them going at the same time in order for the bomb to disarm. Now maybe I can put this rotary in the other position and see what we get. Same thing. Now maybe we can change things up a bit. If I turn on this switch, then we won't have, we'll have both inputs satisfied here, which means nothing will come out of the OR gate. And maybe this means, actually, let's do it like this. And maybe that will enable the pulses to fire at the same time. And not quite, but we're getting close. Let's try this. There we go. Now we're cooking. Because for a brief moment, this exclusive war was letting current through constantly, and then when the B pulse came in, we were able to disarm the bomb. That's great. Okay, on to the next level. This board is doing things a little differently. Check it out. So this is a slow clock because it has a 10 hertz oscillator hooked up to a capacitor. Now right now, the pulses are hitting these exclusive OR gates at the same time. But because they're hitting all at the same time, 
that means that no signal can get through to the A and B disarms. Now I could cut these wires so that the exclusive OR gate passes a current through this leg and this leg, thus hitting the A and B disarms. The problem is, if current is flowing through at the wrong time, I could also accidentally trip this detonate signal, because if I cut this wire, then current will flow through here. Actually, no, current will flow through another pathway and hit the detonator. So what I have to do is I have to cut both of these wires in the brief gap between pulses. So here we go. And we did it. That was a close one. Alright, we defused the bomb again. Hooray! Let's move to the next. Save us! Disarm the bomb! Well, okay. Since you asked nicely. Now I notice that we have a note written here that says, Drain me. And that makes sense, because if we drain this capacitor, then this AND gate can't be satisfied, which means the detonate path won't be lit. Now I can drain this capacitor by cutting power to this oscillator, which I will do now. Okay, that's better. Now, I can help disarm the B side by putting our rotary here, turning this switch on. So if I push this button... No, wait a minute. No, no, I almost blew us up there. I gotta turn this off. But, along the same lines, I can put this switch down like this. Now I have a pathway flowing through here, so now I can push this button and hit the B disarm. But we also need the A lit up at the same time, which means we need to have signal going through here. Now we can't get any signal out of this OR gate through this path, but we can do so through this path. So if I just hold down this button, then the A and B will light up at the same time. There we go. I knew you could do this. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, on to the next level. You have to figure this one out. Good luck. Oh gee, do I really have to? Well, I guess because I don't want to get blown sky high in five minutes or less. Okay, so, as a minimum, I cannot have the switches in... It, this switch cannot be in the middle position, and neither can this one, because either one of those conditions will trigger this OR gate and hit the detonate. But what we need to do is we need to move the switches off the pulse so that we can charge up these capacitors so that in turn we can light the A and B disarms at the same time. So I'm going to start with this one. Okay. So our B is constantly lit up. Now I got to do the A. Now to do that, I have to make use of the capacitors here and here. So I have to quickly charge these capacitors and then get back down here so that both pathways are temporarily charged so that we can pass a signal through the ant. So here we go. And we did it. All right. Excellent. I'm feeling good. Let's go on to the next level. For this bomb, timing is everything. Oscillating detonator circuit, warning, timing critical. And it says up here, tick, tock, tick, tock. Tick. Tock. Okay, I'm done saying that. Alright. Now. We have this exclusive OR gate. The only way I'm going to be able to light up A is if I cut power to this. But the challenge is, if I cut power here at the wrong moment, 
then I could potentially cause current to flow through this exclusive ore and set off the bomb. I don't want that. So what I may need to do is cut this wire at the right moment. Either that or turn this switch at the right moment. Like so. Okay. So right now, we're toggling. We've got A lit up constantly. We're toggling between B and C. Now maybe what I can do is cut this wire at the right moment. Because if I do that at the right moment, then I might be able to have B and C lit at the same time. Let's find out. And that did it. So cutting the wire enabled both of these to fire at the same time. That combined with A being constantly lit disarmed the bomb. Fantastic. Or maybe you just got lucky. Who knows? Well, you know what? I'm just going to take the win. Here we go. On to the next level. Okay, one more board for the road. Alright, this ore gate has three inputs on it. And if you trace, that means I can't have this switch in positions 2 and 3. I can only move off pulse between positions 1 and 4. And in this case, it's the same situation. Position 3 is harmless. It goes nowhere. But positions 1 and... Well, positions 1 and 4 I need in order to satisfy the AND gate. Alright. So we have some capacitors here. So what we're going to have to do is make sure that this capacitor, this capacitor, and this capacitor are charged at the same time. Because we're going to need all of these in order to satisfy these two AND gates to hit the A and B disarms. Just like that. So, just by flipping the switches at precisely the right moment, I was able to have all the capacitors charged, flowing current through the AND gates, and disarming the bomb. Excellent. So this completes our level on pulse generators. So thank you very much for watching, and join me next time for another demonstration of Bomb Squad Academy.